What's up everyone, Insanoflux here, and in this Garden Mod Spotlight I want to feature two mods, first with Battle Dress Female Mage Robes, and then Runic Trap Shields. Battle Dress Female Mage Robes adds six different clothing outfits for female characters that's very feminine looking but not over the top skimpy like most other mods. There are six different robes to choose from, five of which are themed after a school or a type of magic, and the other one is a plain grey one that is themed after the College of Winterhold. The clothes come in either boots, dresses, and gloves and the symbols are shown on the dress and gloves. The clothes don't give any armor and they're not enchanted, but you can enchant them yourself, of course. The battle dresses also look really good with a cape, such as a gray cloak from another mod called Cloaks of Skyrim. And to get the battle dress robes, you need to either craft them out of forge for leather and leather scraps, or you can find them northeast of Whiterun in a sack shown here. Also, the author of the battle dress mod is the creator of Apocalypse Spell Package, which recently got a major content update and got updated to version 2.0. And I've been working on a video f showcasing some of the new additions, and that should be done here soon. This next mod is called Runic Trap Shields by Enderverse, and it adds three shields that each have a fire, frost, or shock rune inscribed on the face of the shield, so whenever you bash an enemy, the rune triggers and unleashes the trap spell. Each shield is decorated with the respective rune on the face, which is a cool visual effect so you can tell at a glance which one it is. The runic fire shield deals 30 damage and then burns the enemy for 15 more fire damage over 3 seconds. The runic frost shield deals 30 frost damage and drains 15 stamina. And the runic lightning shield deals 30 shock damage and drains 15 magicka. The three new shields can be found in Inther's room at the College of Winterhold, as shown here. Or they can be crafted out of forge if you have the arcane blacksmith perk. And in order to craft a runic trap shield, you need to have four iron ingots, one corundum ingot, one leather strip, and either a frost, fire, or lightning rune scroll. To temper the shields, you need to have a corresponding elements resist potion and a corundum ingot. Overall, this is a pretty sweet mod that adds a bit of utility to shield users, like my main Nord character that I've been using in my Let's Play series. His name is Fall. And yeah, overall I'd recommend it. It's a pretty unknown mod. Right now it has six endorsements, and it definitely deserves some more attention. Anyways, that's it for this Skyrim Mod Spotlight. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos similar to this one. See ya.